Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with another book tag. Today I'm going to be doing the wine book tag, which was created by Boho Bookworm, and I was actually tagged by her as well. I'm going to be completely honest here, I'm not legally able to drink. I was kind of hesitant on doing this tag because of that, but I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. Let's go ahead and get started with the first question. Question one is box wine, a book that people will judge you for liking, but you like anyway. I feel like a lot of people are going to have the same answer, but mine is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. A lot of people don't like this book, and a lot of people like it. I'm the one that likes it. I really, like, I, if you don't like it, okay, but... A lot of people like this book, and myself included. So number two is Organic Wine, a book that doesn't have any added crap in it and is just written perfectly. So I kind of cheated on this one, mostly because I didn't really know what book to pick, but I ended up going with a memoir, and it's This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. And it's, this book is literally just journal entries. So it's what she was thinking at the time of writing all of those entries. How can it not be written perfectly in that case? I'm totally gonna butcher this, but question number three is Gloof Wine, a really spicy wintry read. I didn't really know what to choose for this one, but I went with a book that is a genre and has a type of theme that I like to read during cold nights and in the winter, and that is Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, the entire series. It has that kind of, not necessarily medieval, but princes, princesses, kings, queens, the kingdom and monarchy type vibe, which I really like to read in the winter and fall, which I don't know why, it's just, it's something that's darker that I like to read. We can just assume that from now on, I'm gonna mispronounce every single type of wine on here. We can just automatically assume it. Question number four is Sauvignon Blanc. A really sharp and aggressive read that you couldn't put down. This one I went with The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. This book does not hold back. It explains every gruesome detail and it's a very fast-paced book and I think that's one of the reasons why I really really loved it. It just, it tells it to you straight. L Lindsay Cummings tells it to you straight in this book. There was blood, there was a lot of it. It's just, it. that's the aggressive part of it. It's, there's no holding back in this book but it's such a good book. Question number five is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this so wrong, Pinot Noir, and that's a book you didn't expect much from but ended up being blown away. Now, my answer may, may be questionable, but I'm going with Landline by Rainbow Rowell, and my reasoning is I love, I love, love Rainbow Rowell and her work, but I really was he not necessarily hesitant, but I question how different her adult books would be from her YA books. This is considered her adult book, but her writing style is all the same to me. It's just with older characters. So I ended up loving this book, even though I was really, really questioning it at first and how I would like it considering it's one of her adult books. Question number six is Chardonnay, a summer book that was really zesty. I'm also going to kind of cheat here because I don't have an answer for this question. I cannot think of a summertime book that is really zesty or has that really like sharpness to it. I couldn't think of one at all because mo like all summer reads to me are really light and nice and I couldn't really think of something like that. So I'm opting to skip this question. Question number seven is Rosé, a book that has a little bit of everything in it. For this question I went with Cinder or the Lunar Chronicle series in general because this book it's it's a lot. It's a fairy tale retelling. It's sci-fi. It's fantasy. It's a, it's a lot in there, and it's something that you would question, and I actually really questioned it, but they just, they meld together perfectly, and Marissa Meyer created this world of multiple genres and brought them together to make one epic series that I'm in love with. Question number eight is Shiraz, a full-bodied book that is dark and juicy. For this one, I'm going to go with Winter by Marissa Meyer because this is an 824 page book. It's very long, but so much happens in it. It's not necessarily that it's dark, but it is a really, really juicy book, and it has so much like going on in it and so many different things that are happening that it's just a lot to take in, but it's really, really amazing. Question number nine is Merlot, a smooth, easy read with a soft finish. For this, I'm going with I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. This book, I'm only saying that it's 
like th that it is this because it's a really fast paced book. It was really easy for me to get through and I really loved it. And not necessarily for the soft finish part, I guess. I don't think it really has that. But it was a really easy book to get through and I really, really loved it and definitely recommend it if you're looking for something light, easy, and funny to read. And question number 10 is Champagne, your favorite book. So for this, the question of your favorite book to any type of reader is a really, really hard question to answer. So for now, I'm gonna go with favorite book right now, which is Winter by Marissa Meyer again. Just these past few videos, I cannot stop talking about Winter and the Lunar Chronicles series because it's so amazing, guys. It's one of my favorite series. It's in my top two favorite series. And it's just, it's so amazing. It's great. And I, I just can't stop talking about it. So right now, this is my favorite book. So guys, that is all I have for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to tag Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Book Babble to do this tag. And that is all I have for this video today. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!